Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I'm wonderful. I am back again today with another Dollar Tree haul for you. Just keep finding things at Dollar Tree. That's the thing that I love about them. You just never know what you're going to find. Every time you go into the store, there's something different and I think it's amazing. So I'm going to show you what was in my thumbnail. I saw these this time. I swear I'm becoming the sock queen, but these are you get five pair in here by Stride Right. Isn't Stride Right a big name brand sock maker, shoe maker? I think that's amazing. I'm not quite sure if it is or if it isn't, but I think these are great. And I actually bought these for myself. All the socks that I get, I end up passing along. I did save a few of the gold toes that I have found but most of them I pass along to the kids and the grandkids. So I saw these and I'm, I'm saving them for myself. Five pair in here. So that's 10 pair of socks for $2.50. I think that's amazing. These were the only prints that I saw, styles that I saw. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Please take the, the paper off. You get a black pair with gray and orange. They seem like they go... You know, up your leg a little ways. I did read the back and they are 75% cotton with polyester and spandex, I believe. What did it say? It says 75% cotton, 22% polyester, 3% spandex. I don't see on the label a price, how like the gold toes, you could see the price. This, I don't see it. So and the, I'm sorry, the um, shoe size is four through 10, but I'm sorry, I got sidetracked there. You get gray, black, and orange. You get a solid black pair, which I think is great. You get blue, gray, and red, a solid gray pair, and then a blue, a navy, a white, and a really bright lime green color. And like I said, these were the only colors, just combinations that I saw. So I'm going to keep an eye out to see if I can find any more of these. I, I think that's an excellent deal. You know, five pair of socks for $1.25. And they seem very nice quality. I'm just afraid on my legs, these may be too tight. So I may end up passing a pack along to one of the smaller people in my life. But I'm going to give them a try. If you guys have found these and tried them, let me know what your thoughts are. Are they kind of tight on the, you know, above your ankle area? And then I saw this. I don't know if this was from fall and I'm just seeing it now. I have no idea, but it says always be thankful. And it was in the, the kitchen towels where they hang the kitchen towels up and it is by home collection. And yes, this is that microfiber stuff. It says hundred percent polyester. 15 inch by 25 inch, but I thought it was so nice. I'm over the whole red truck thing, but I thought the wagon was very cute, very different. It has the barn in the background and you can see it kind of goes around and there's like a, um, like a bushel basket with pumpkins in, but I thought that was really pretty and different. So I just grabbed one. I don't know. Was this out in the fall? and somehow I just looked over it or didn't see it till now. I don't know, but this will get washed up and then put away and put in my fall bin. I really liked it. The microfiber stuff, it just drives me insane. Like right now my hands are pretty dry. Every time I touch it, I can feel it just kind of grabbing on to the little dry patches. Ugh. Whatever. <laughs> What a, well, two food items. They had the Chef Boyardee, the chicken ravioli. The littlest grand lady was here last week and she tried raviolis here, the beef flavor. So we thought we would get a thing of the chicken and let her try it. She really liked the beef. So we're going to, we're going to try this with her. Are they the healthiest things in the world? No, but she has her fruits and veggies along with it. And it says no artificial flavors, no preservatives, no artificial colors. So 15 ounce Chef Boyardee in tomato sauce. I don't think I have ever tried these chicken raviolis. 
So we're going to try that the next time she comes around and see what she thinks. Another, another food item, I guess. I have trouble finding the unsweetened almond milk. They always have sweetened in my stores that I go to, but it's like I have to go to Maryland to find the unsweetened. And what does it say? Unsweetened almond milk, 25 calories per serving. It's a 32 ounce or one quart, of course. I like having these on hand. The expiration date is September of 22, and I like almond milk. I think it's great. I don't have a problem with it. I like it. Is it different from real milk? Not real milk, but cow's milk? Yes, but I like it myself, so I pick it up. The, these are the ones that when you're in the store, lightly twist. Don't twist too hard. If you twist too hard, you're going to break the seal. But if it keeps going, you know somebody else has tampered with it and the seal is broken. So I do always check that when I'm in the store. Just gently, gently twist. If it gives any resistance, you're good. So yeah, I was happy. I think we picked up three of these, two or three. I can't remember exactly, but I like having them on hand. And I don't know why it's so hard to find the unsweetened. They're, it's always sweetened. Then I picked up a few things for the littlest lady again, just to have here at the house in case, you know, the diapers get forgotten at home or whatever. But they have these Angel of Mine diapers and this is size four and you get five diapers in this one and it is for 22 pounds plus. And that is actually what size she is in right now is the size four. And then they had the size five and it's 26 pounds plus and you only get four in here. So I thought just to have these on hand, put them away and just in case, you know, in case diapers are forgotten or when summer is coming now and she'll be getting in and out of the pool and I need to get some little swimmy diapers. But these are just gonna be put away just, just in case. And they also had the Fisher Price brand. And this is also a size four and it is for 22 to 37 pounds and you get five diapers in here. So we figured why not just grab a few packs and you know, put them in the cabinet just in case. Can never have too many diapers when babies are around. But she doesn't know it yet, but when she comes to Nani and Poppy's house, She's going to start sitting on the potty here real soon. And then we picked up these. I really like these, uh, these um, butt wipes. And these are by Smart Care, Fisher Price. And these are the ones that are 99% water. I like that, that there's not a bunch of chemicals in these. You get 64 wipes. And let me see, what does it say here? It's aloe vera and chamomile. It is. It says soft, sensitive, fragrance-free for babies. And they are 14 centimeters by 20 centimeters. Hypoallergenic, paraben-free, alcohol-free. I like that. So I always try to look for these, or they do have a sensitive, straight sensitive one, but I would rather get the ones that are almost pure water. So I grab these. And I actually, we use these ourselves. We keep them in the vehicles and use it to wipe down our hands and things. I think it's a pretty good deal. So grab one of those. I actually grabbed two of those and one is in use. And then Hubby saw these coffee mugs. So he grabbed two of them. He One he is actually using today. These are big. I don't know if you can see how big they are, but they are almost as big as my entire hand. Very heavy coffee mugs. He likes them. I wouldn't like them very much because they're just too heavy for me. But this one is a navy blue bottom with the brown top and it's like a tan on the inside, and they're like a square shape on the bottom, but then round on the top, and he also got one that he's using right now. It's black on the bottom with brown on the top. Same mug, but just different color combination, but he likes it a lot. It does feel good in the hand, but it's very, very sturdy and heavy, too heavy for me. You add your coffee to that, and this thing weighs a ton, but he likes it, and I believe it's by Royal Norfolk. They are microwave and dishwasher safe. And it says Greenbrier. I can't see if it has the Royal Royal Norfolk 
stamp underneath or not, but he likes them. So he grabbed, grabbed this one and the, the black and brown. And then I think this is the last thing, guys. A couple short and sweet videos in a row here. They have all types of baseball caps out right now. And this one caught my eye because it's navy blue. Just by chance, I have on a navy blue and white striped shirt. But these, I'm not sure if they're a brand, a bigger brand. It says Auto, O-T-T-O -T collection. I, I don't know anything about that company. But these seemed very sturdy and very breathable. And they did come in other colors. I know they had red and they had tan. If they have a white one when I go back, I may grab a solid white. But I did not see one at the store that I found these. And they have the Velcro, Velcro, Velcro closure. But I wear baseball caps all the time. All the time. If you guys ever see me out, you will probably see me in a baseball cap. And they have a little, I, I don't know what this is really, like a sweat guard on the inside. But I love baseball caps. See if it fits my head without switching the Velcro. I wear them constantly. When I don't want to do my hair, I pull it back in a pony and I put on a baseball cap. And these fit nice. Some of the baseball caps are real short in the crown area. These ones come down almost to the tops of my ears. So that makes me happy. So I'm going to be on the lookout for more of these. We go through bat baseball caps a lot in this house as well. We use them. The grandkids use them, especially now with, with it getting warmer outside and we'll be opening up the pool soon. I almost, well, I don't force them, but the kids like wearing baseball caps in and out of the pool and running around the yard on the back deck. So yeah, I pick them up and keep them on hand. I like it. So that is it, guys. That is everything for this short and sweet haul. Another one for you. I hope everybody is doing well out there. We are. If you guys like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I will talk to you again here really soon. Peace.